the excess part of living in the world is flesh and of that flesh are many types of locusts that are called flesh eaters one of the most um, known flesh eaters is the fly and what Levi had inherited in the rod of Moses whether it was the, the rod of favor or union union is most notably known with Artaxerxes and his slaves that uh, put the king's people Beowulf of uh, favored union Beowulf into a slavery with the church a world sphere of Babel flesh with all of the flesh eaters known mostly in the Bible it doesn't um, state clearly as to what the flies purpose are but we in the world notice that the flies eat shit and the inheritance of that uh, fly unto Levi they say it was passed down to Aaron Moses had passed it down to Aaron in the Bible and um, the frogs hermaphrodite uh, and the blood of Christ which is to wear the glory of his crown which is death death being flesh flesh whether it is able to be purified after the many uh, trials and tribulations of its own substance still living in this world with the dried up Jordan River that no longer has a pure baptism with John the Baptist or Jesus Christ um, but still lives in the Stygian realm in a conservative manner or uh, in a manner used in law whatever choices that people all over the world who shepherd help them or aid them into making the choices that we help in the matrix whether it is um, law or freedom from the woman in wedlock which is called law and then uh, the, the people understanding the world as I understand it that Jesus Christ says surely if you have faith in God understanding that because we have eaten the apple and we know good and bad and world conflict in it and we are done away with the the fountain of youth and now we live in a fountain of aging for her childbirth lust for our childbirth lust and in that lust is a woe of world conflict and then dying is another woe in rebirth and then uh, actually uh, growing up is considered to be a great woe of a kind of like a greenhouse cycle where the flesh moves from one point to another in an aging system whether a man is triumphant to overcome its image of another whether it's in a union covet love thyself as I have loved you or in a covet between the people and you in hell and in heaven understanding all things that are in this world from the very point of the water from the very point of the earth from the very point of its uprising from the very point of the creation of God and his likeness after all creatures were made in it but the the angel authority is not just in a spiritual aspect the angel authority lives in the flesh in all of us understanding that the flesh is nothing but a sense when I say nothing but a sense I mean that the sense is the sin it is what um, keeps us awake or helps us fall asleep 
and aid in all of them that practice the law for her in dividing the household. And there is the uh, three woes of childbirth that is the law for her so that the child may either A, be raised up in a purpose of trouble and terror and things of bad consciences or be raised up in something that is great um, far from evil and filled with peace even in the, the corrupt broken and contrite spirits that are in dire need for a shepherd for someone to lead them all of them that are called lost sheep and those that uh, disappear from you like Jesus Christ explains in some of his scriptures. I don't have them right off hand, but I'm sure that some people who listen to my videos have heard and read for themselves that Jesus Christ was a shepherd of sheep. Those that have lost themselves are the most important to a shepherd, even though we rebel against the law for her that comes against us, not for a shepherd, but triumphant to overcome her that comes against us for our soul hoping to overcome our wellspring of natural spirits and trapping us in something that is of hers hoping to have us arrested incarcerated by acting out or doing stupid stuff this is what I'm talking about in that cycle with upbringing children or the creation of law and lust the childbirth the dying and then rebirth the three woes of resurrection in Jesus Christ the only supper in Jesus Christ knowing that it is the only supper then that commandment love thyself as I have loved you is one of the main commandments and it is in a co-op um, involving the, the two brothers Solomon and Saint Matthew and the true commandments, all ten of them. Uh, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet, thou shalt not uh, commit murder, and so on. And uh, The two brothers in arms in the yin and yang, and there is said to be two trees on earth, and then two trees in heaven, for what takes place on earth also happens in heaven. And this is the four lambs of God, or the four horsemen, or the... The four dragons with the Lord. It might be five dragons. Ryujin being separate from the four horsemen. But the fifth dragon is Ryujin with Orion. Uh, Bellon, Bellwolf and Zulong with Hercules and King David. And uh, Hilong with Solomon. And it's believed to be Anakim. But then Anakim... Uh, is one of the pharaoh or pharaoh dragons and then Quillong with Poseidon who gave birth to one of the woes I believe it's Capricornus but some say it's Ariel which Capricornus is known to be a goat ram fish and the scapegoat Paul is a part of Artaxerxes who had a piece of uh, Poseidon squid as a penis fish uh, and it was called the rod of the earth or rod of the sea in childbirth in all of the children that are born mostly heavy and without being born from death which is the rod of the earth the earthworms the dead deceased raised up I, um, knowing these things, being being blessed as a, a naturally born heavyweight baby through the penis fish Artaxerxes and having uh, a constant rendition of the church that was, it was said to have been taken over by Caesar, um, Bellwolf, child of Odin, and understanding the rod uh, or the the Lord Bellwolf, uh, possibly an 
an offspring of Belwell, uh, favored with King David or King David of Abbey Bell. Understanding that much where Beowulf and Artaxerxes had uh, encounters with the Dill and the Viper Medusin and the Sloth. And Anakim was probably there in some, uh, I don't write movies, I'm not a part of any movie, but I've watched movies and I've read books and they've, they've uh, rationalized and made themselves hospitable to the understanding that Anakim was a part of the sloth and the sloth quite possible a part of childbirth in the tree with the viper medusin and in fact it was not Delphi they say the devil Delphi was the one that um, induced the childbirth in Adam and in Eve which I don't I can consider that but the consideration of the six dark churches versus the church through Jesus Christ and St. Matthew and Solomon that is worthy in heaven and and then them who broke God's command saying don't be like them and for that I have created you have created world conflict and for that I have clothed you in the dark rule of the sloth the viper medusa and I have clothed you in livestock I have clothed you in that darkness. So I believe that the sloth and the viper medusa were at the tree of Judah where Adam and Eve lived in the garden and consummated that uh, world conflict known as childbirth. And uh, we suffer in the flesh for lust of many women and it is considered law or church law what one should or shouldn't do or being forced to be something that you're really not taking the time to consecrate and lead in a great manner a great congregation or a great multitude that people are not awake to they can't they can't see they don't understand they have no uh, recollection of of the matter in all men known as fall of men and the woman who is with them and there are two rationalities of this lovers of themselves sleeping with a woman with a lot of men is sleeping with a man and and there are scriptures in the bible that say if if it doesn't come from thine self it is best that you don't do that for the women have watchers in heaven that leave their posts polluting themselves with those sons of men that sleep with her and driving men insane and I say again to the officer that listen lead that man as far away as you can until the the spirits between the holy mountain and the watchers have left the man between the woman and then come and collect what is his and so on and the officer in foreign relations have understanding of these things but a lot of people in American relations who choose money, riches and fame and glory and destroying others in uh, their own iniquity, their own money making, their own oath to a church, their own practice with an, an actor or an idol on TV that everybody loves and nobody can get Jesus Christ to answer his prayers when they are Jesus Christ they're clothed in all of the covenant and the covenants be of Jesus Christ and, and Belbul and uh, some with Artaxerxes and some were said to be with King David but there is an ark that says that there is a savior of that woe and childbirth that gave uh, peace of themselves to animals where livestock sacrifices used in a church in the days of great floods and great fires which is the great awake the flood being a dead sea in Noah's time the dead sea scroll where interracial relationships were being had and the water from heaven was falling or the, the stars from heaven were falling with its nutrients and the nutrients were being killed off to a complete dead water 
for that interracial relationship and that dead water that can't fall asleep in the earth. It can't rest because it has not a shepherd that makes it feel safe or comfortable and it is full of anxiety and hurry up and uh, this, that, and the other and full of grudges and hates and angers that um, the woman or man of interracial relations had caused them in the fall, Ragnarok. The fall of man, Ragnarok. And um, in the grace of God, a, a great speaker had given that that is dead from God completely a, a place of rest. And after it falls asleep and loses itself from all of that, the idol, the hate, the grudge, the woman, the man that didn't love themselves enough uh, to consecrate to God into heaven and rather kill themselves off in interracial relationships, that dead water in the ark of Noah, and and there is said to be one that is coming, that great awake, that great awake and the fire in everybody's mouth where everybody must repent in, in uh, Revelation 14. But that ark is not yet stated. It is considered to be the Ark of Artaxerxes and King David and Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But not yet stated that that is factual in Revelation 14. It states that it will take place over and over and over again until the world is a great multitude of many islands and no one can escape the, the judgment or uh, evil of interracial relations or the evil uh, fall of man out of normal relations. The dead water versus the fire, the Ragnarok. The Ragnarok until uh, the water or nutrient or protein or vitamin or iron or metal of all sorts from heaven in the stars are completely dead because those that do not consecrate themselves nor are they found worthy in the Trinity to go up into heaven where uh, purity may be accepted. St. Matthew, the only one crossed with Jesus, the only one accepted Jesus, and the cherub denying, the fleshly pig denying Jesus Christ as his Savior, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees and, and so on. Flesh eaters. The, the inheritance of Levi. They say all flies are flesh eaters. All caterpillars who eat the tree leaves are flesh eaters. All uh, bugs of sorts that eat um, greenery or mostly hermaphroditic things. They eat flesh. And then... Uh, The uh, hermaphrodite frog idea that is changed in the Bible to a frog instead of a hermaphrodite. Uh, the idea that Scientology had put into the hearts of some citizens in the whole entire world that man uh, evolution was from a frog on to a from the sea to the land and growing into a great man. There are many types of religions to uh, believe and humble yourself to and then there is truth that makes sense.